Hi, this is Christina Zilo with Text Broker International. Today we're going to talk about XML RPC export. So what the heck is XML RPC export? It's a simple way to get your completed Text Broker blog posts to your WordPress, Joomla, or older versions of Drupal blog or website. There's no software that needs to be installed, no plugins to work with, just gets the content out to you. And it's really simple. Let's get started. We'll go first to Assignments, Export, and you can set up the export either as a project or in a global setting. Setting up as a project will allow you to post to different categories, one category per project, or to a completely different blogs if you are an agency managing different clients. Setting things up on a global export will send to the same blog to the same category. So out of these three tabs, we click to XML RPC export. And the first thing we do is turn it on. There are three options here, WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. And selecting the blog platform will change the instructions here for you. I'll go with WordPress because it's simple and very popular. And okay, so once you've turned everything on, the first thing to do, the second thing to do, I guess in that case, is to ac activate the XML RPC in WordPress itself. So we'll bring up a WordPress blog. Here on the left-hand sidebar, under Settings, under Writing, you'll find the option for XML RPC. Go ahead and make sure it's clicked. By default, it is not clicked. And then hit Save Changes. That's all you have to do. Back at Text Broker, you'll enter your domain. For example, Text Broker. Um, if your domain has the blog as a subfolder, in other words, if it's yourdomain.com slash blog, then keep yourdomain.com here in this regular box, hit edit, and add the slash blog, and keep the slash xmlrpc.php. That's really important. If you are like text broker and have your blog as blog.textbroker.com, then there's no need to add in anything else. You can simply leave it this way. Then you'll go ahead and enter your username and your password. You can select posting as a draft or directly publishing going live right away. I suggest keeping it on draft because then you can add links, add images, correct any minor things that you might want to change, or make other edits. Also really important is further options right here. Um, you can choose to publish as a blog post or a page. By default, our programmer set it to post as a page, not a blog post. So please check this setting before you start you can use a blog ID and you can enter in categories. When you are working on projects, setting up these uh, export settings for projects, a category is a really helpful way to get the content tagged, categorized, and sorted. In a global setting like we have here, we really don't need the category. Then you'll hit the check button. If we do that right now, we'll get an error message. We have a bad login password combination because I don't have a password here. When you put in your password, you'll get a green check mark here and then a save button. Go ahead and hit that save button, which is what keeps things in our uh, website memory so that we can actually do the exporting for you. So when you hit that save button, you'll get a connection test on your WordPress blog. We're back on WordPress home. And this is just a lorem ipsum text so that you can see that the export function is working. Now, 
there are two items that you have to be aware of when you're working with the XML RPC export function. The first is that you'll receive your content in WordPress twice. You'll first receive it when you get the article for review. You'll receive it again as a separate post when you accept the article. So you will have to do some minor cleanup. I've already talked to our programmers and we're working on fixing this issue. The second item is that our authors have an HTML editor available to them. However, the symbols for the HTML markup don't translate into the WordPress visual editor, which is the default. So that is something we're also working on fixing. In the meantime, you can simply ask authors not to put in any HTML markups. It makes it a little bit easier for the authors and it makes it easier for you as well. That does mean you'll have to go in and mark things up afterwards if there are titles or links that you want in the content. That's the beginning and the end of XML RPC exporting for completed text broker orders. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 702-534-3832. Send us an email to mail, M-A-I-L, at textbroker.com, or catch us on Twitter at textbroker. Thanks so much, and enjoy!